Hi everyone, my name is Adrian from Australia. In today's video, I wanted to share with you my thoughts on the minimum job requirements to get a job in programming. And I'm going to share with you some of my own experiences and lessons along the way. If you don't know who I am, I do videos around design and development, and you can check out my channel in the description below. But without further ado, hit like and subscribe and let's just jump straight into it. Getting your very first job in development or programming is very difficult. I know it was for me. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a small tip to get you your first job faster. And it's something that I did wrong when I was starting out. And hopefully you guys don't do this same mistake. It's the fact that the minimum job requirements required to apply for a job aren't as crazy as they seem when you see in the job applications. And what does this mean? Well, when we're looking at job applications online, we see things for junior developer roles where you need five years of experience, or you might need to know 10 different libraries or languages. And this is just insane. It's way too much. And I wanted to share with you the fact that this simply isn't realistic and the minimum job requirements required to apply for a job are much lower than they actually are listed. So if you are a developer or a programmer and you're starting out and looking for a job, it's very likely that you might already be ready to apply. And let me tell you the reason for this. If you understand your fundamentals and you know how to use your language, then that is usually 90% of what is required when you're applying for junior roles. And let me give you some background about my story and how I learned this the hard way. Because for me, it took me 10 years before I applied for my very first job. And I know that sounds crazy and it is a little bit crazy, but there's a reason for this madness. And it's because I felt that I never was good enough. And the reason I thought I was not good enough is because the job applications online simply required too much from what was actually required to be able to apply for jobs. For me, I learned my basics a long time ago. And even though I know those, I felt that I needed to know more in order to apply, that I might simply not stack up against the common developer that's out there, so I might not get the job. So then after that, I started doing more tutorials. I learned all my things that I needed to for different languages and libraries. I started doing more courses and I got stuck into what is commonly referred to as tutorial hell. And I was stuck in there for a long time. And for this long period, I simply never applied for any jobs because technology always changes and there'll always be new libraries and languages out there. So as soon as I finished learning something, there was a new thing out there, such as React or Angular or Vue. And I kept learning more and more and more, but still never applying. And this is the biggest mistake I made because I could have applied 10 years sooner. I think the very first thing that you need to know is your fundamentals. But as soon as you know those, as soon as you understand those, you should be applying for jobs. Because as soon as I went to apply for jobs after learning all those, I could have got one. And what happened to me was push came to shove. I was working in IT and I had to leave my previous job. And this forced me to apply for jobs and I decided might be a good time to do some web jobs now. So I put in my applications and I found all these jobs with huge requirements that were ridiculous almost. And when I sat down to do the in-person interview with the actual company themselves, they never actually needed all those job requirements. They were simply there to maybe fill out a candidate to see if they might have those. But a lot of the times they only needed a single job requirement. And I know that when I went into a job application that required me to understand Angular and Vue and React Native and WordPress and all of this stuff, but that's not actually what they were looking for. They were looking for someone who just understood WordPress. And as long as you knew your HTML and your CSS and your JavaScript, that's all they were really looking for. And this sort of blew my mind because for the longest time, I never applied for jobs because I thought that they needed every single one of those requirements. And this was the mistake that I made for so long. And even after I applied for so many positions and tried out so many different roles, what I found out was that even if you do know your fundamentals and you have to work with some technology, it's not actually as scary as it sounds because when you join a company, usually they have a team behind you. And this means that for the very first three months, you don't have to suddenly be thrown into the fire pan. You actually have time to settle in 
to learn, to understand how the framework or the library you'll be using works in the actual business itself. You'll have a team behind you that'll help you out if you have questions along the way. And you'll have a mentor or someone who can supervise you so that if you do have any questions that you're unable to do, you can always escalate them up to someone else. And this means that a lot of those jobs that are essentially feeling like they're out of our reach are actually within our reach and worth applying immediately. So if there's a job that you've been looking for, if there's a company that you want to apply for, and you're a junior developer or you're learning your programming and you understand your fundamentals, I definitely urge you to start applying immediately. And who knows, you might get the job, but even if you don't, the experience of what you learn along the way will help you inevitably into finding your next job at some stage. I know it did for me. And if you're looking to learn your foundations, Brad Traversi has you covered. You've got his channel here and he's got hundreds of videos to learn all sorts of languages and libraries. He's also got paid content on his website, which is worth checking out. And I'm sure it'll be in the description below. And there are lots of other resources available online as well. There's things like Free Code Camp. And if you haven't heard of that before, it's a place that essentially does what is similar to a boot camp. And boot camps are my favorite thing because they get you up and running with your foundations really quickly, but sometimes they're expensive. Free Code Camp is very similar to that. They take you through the foundations of whatever language you're trying to learn. So for example, if you're trying to learn HTML or CSS or JavaScript, they take you through every single stage from learning how to write your very first tag to doing classes and tests and making sure that you're following the proper best practice standards. So when you finish the entire course, you even get a certificate to show that you know the content. And this is really cool because you'll be able to put this on your next job application. And you can show that you've completed your fundamentals at Free Code Camp. If I saw this on a resume, then I definitely would take the candidate a lot more seriously because I know they've put in the hard work to be able to earn that and they've done it on their own. And I think this will definitely help people get jobs, especially since the minimum job requirements aren't as difficult as they are made out to be. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the minimum job requirements and it helps you apply for your very first job and hopefully get it too. It's been an honor to be on this channel for Brad and if you guys haven't already, hit like and subscribe and leave a comment too because it really helps the YouTube algorithm promote his videos. Thank you.